one. Modern lemurs range from 2.5 inches to 2.5 feet tall. The smallest living lemur is the pygmy mouse lemur, which is less than 2.5 inches, 6 centimeters, from head to toe although its tail adds another 5 inches. The largest living lemur is the Andre, which can stand as tall as 2.5 feet, 0.75 meter, in adulthood. 2. A lemur that looked like Alf went extinct about 500 years ago. As a reminder of what's at stake for modern lemurs, some of the group's most unusual members have already died out in recent centuries. At least 17 giant lemur species have gone extinct since humans reached Madagascar. According to the Duke Lemur Center, ranging in weight from 10 to 160 kilograms, 22 to 353 pounds. One notable example is Megalodopus abertsi, a giant lemur that weighed up to 200 pounds and was the size of a small adult human. According to the American Museum of Natural History, one of its most distinctive features was its robust muzzle, which evidently supported a large, fleshy nose that may have created an elf-like appearance, at least as interpreted in the illustration above. Fossil evidence suggests the elf lemur was still around when Europeans reached Madagascar in 1504, and it bears a resemblance to the Malagasy legend of the Tretrator, which was described in 1661 by French explorer Etienne Flockhart. The Tretrator is a large animal, like a calf of two years, with the round head and the face of a man. The forefeet are like those of an ape, as are the hind feet. It has curly hair, a short tail, and deer is like a man's. It is a very solitary animal, the people of the country hold it in great fear and flee from it, as it is from them. 3. Lemur society is run by females. Female dominance over males is rare among mammals, including primates, but it's the norm for lemurs, researchers noted in a 2008 study, occurring in all lemur families regardless of mating system. And that dynamic is often comically apparent as Duke University biologist Robin Ann Smith wrote in 2015. It's not uncommon for lady lemurs to bite their mates, snatch a piece of fruit from their hands, whack them in the head or shove them out of prime sleeping spots, she wrote. Females mark their territories with distinctive scents just as often as males do. Males often don't take their share of a meal until the females have had their fill. Four, and three lemurs sing together as groups, mostly. Not many primates sing, aside from humans, and dendrus are the only lemurs known to do so. Living in small groups across Madagascar's eastern rainforests, they belt out songs that play a key role in group formation as well as defense. Both males and females sing, and research has shown that group members carefully coordinate their chorus by copying each other's rhythms and synchronizing notes. According to a 2016 study, some younger, lower-ranking Indries show a strong preference for singing in antiphony, or out of sync, with the rest of their group. This might be adaptive, the study's authors suggest, letting the less prestigious Indries draw more attention to their individual talents. Synchronized singing doesn't allow a singer to advertise his or her individuality, so it makes sense that young, low-ranking Indries sing in antiphony, co-author Giovanna Bernadown explains in a statement. This lets them advertise their fighting ability to members of other groups and signal their individuality to potential sexual partners. 5. Ring-tailed lemurs settle disputes with stink fights. Ring-tailed lemurs must compete with each other for limited resources like food, territory and mates, and competition grows especially fierce among males during breeding season. It sometimes leads to physical brawls, but those are dangerous for animals with such sharp claws and teeth. And, luckily for ring-tailed lemurs, they've developed a safer way to settle their disputes. Stink fights. Male ring-tailed lemurs have scent glands at the wrists and shoulders, and using their long tails, waft scents into the air for intimidation. Their wrists produce a volatile, short-lived odor. According to the Duke Lemur Center, while their shoulders offer a brown toothpaste-like substance with a longer-lasting scent, when a stink fight begins, Two rival males pull their tails through these glands so the fur absorbs the smell. They also mix scents to make richer, 
more persistent fragrances than they wave their tails at each other, throwing pungency instead of punches. Stink fights are resolved when one lemur backs off, and although many end quickly, they've been known to last an hour. They take place any time of year, not just breeding season, and aren't necessarily limited to lemurs. Humans' sense of smell isn't strong enough to detect the odors, but ring-tailed lemurs don't know that, so they sometimes try to stink fight zookeepers or other people who irritate them. 6. The word lemur is Latin for evil spirit of the dead. Lemur was coined in 1795 by Carl Linnaeus, the founder of modern taxonomy, who took it from Latin. Lemures were evil spirits of the dead in Roman mythology, according to the online etymology dictionary, and while the origin is hazy before that, it might date back to an ancient, non-Indo-European word for malevolent spirits. The reference isn't hard to understand. Lemurs have eerily humanoid bodies, move around with ghostly grace and tend to be active at night. Still, the evil part is a little unfair. Linnaeus may not have meant it literally, but certain lemurs, namely the endangered I.I., are still haunted by people who do. 7. To some people, the I.I. lemur is a monster. I.I.s inspire deep superstition in parts of Madagascar, largely because of their spooky looks, not just the gremlin face but also their spindly fingers. My eyes have long, thin hands in general, but the third digit on each hand is even spindlier than the rest, and a ball and socket joint lets it swivel 360 degrees. This finger evolved for percussive foraging, a hunting technique in which the eye eye taps on tree bark, listening for the sound of cavities where insects might be hiding. When it finds one, it tears a hole in the wood with its sharp teeth, then uses its long fingers to reach inside. As the wildlife charity Wild Screen points out, this primate occupies a niche that is filled by woodpeckers elsewhere. Unfortunately, some myths in Madagascar portray the eye eye as a monster. One suggests it curses people to death by pointing at them with its long finger, part of a system of taboos in Malagasy culture known as Fadi. Another contends eye eyes sneak into houses at night, using that same finger to puncture human hearts. Eye eyes are sometimes killed by people who believe they're dangerous, although fear can also protect them by compelling people to stay away. Either way, superstition isn't their only problem. My eyes are also threatened by people hunting them as bush meat or altering their habitats for other purposes like agriculture. Thank you for watching videos.